you know what soloing or you know or lead playing or whatever doesn't have to be um, single line you know although it often is especially with guitar <laughs> Um, and then, you know, you have your lead guy doing something like that, and your rhythm guitar player. <laughs> but it's really fun to uh, combine those two approaches, your rhythm approach and your lead approach, and mix them up a little bit so that you're improvising harmonically as, as well as melodically, you know. The texture would be combined. This happens a lot with pianists, like your Herbie Hancock's, Brad Meldow, those kind of guys. So, You know, simplify things. So you might try, say, just with one key. Um, in, uh, for demonstration purposes, let's do the key of C. Uh, I have a little bass line or set of notes from the key of C uh, in my looper here. And I'll play those and I'll improvise over that uh, for a minute or two. Here we go. There, you know, I try to play something kind of fast. I can't, I can't, I can't play things like this harmonically. Well, that's when I'll break out into the one note of time texture. And certainly, when you have moments where your melody slows down, boy, it's just great to be able to throw in those kind of harmonies. So. Yeah, um, I think probably a, a good approach is to just you know take a few strings at a time and work that harmonically. You know, you might you might try only doing this. You know, say on a, a pair of strings, like your first and second string. You know, here's the first string. Second string. And now just play on that little pair. There you go. You can really find some cool textures in that uh, approach. Good luck.